Hi everyone, I'm Kevin and today I'm super excited to announce our brand new 4 Series MP600 M.2 NVMe SSD. It's one of our first SSDs to utilize PCIe Gen 4. PCI Express is one of the fastest interconnects possible in your computer, and with PCIe Gen 4, it doubles the speed of PCIe Gen 3, going up to 16 gigatransfers per second per lane, and our new MP600 takes full advantage of that extra bandwidth. With our MP600, you can expect sequential read speeds up to 4,950 megabytes per second, and sequential write speeds up to 4,250 megabytes per second. And while you'll get the best performance out of a PCIe Gen 4 system, it is backwards compatible so you can still expect high speeds on current PCIe Gen 3 systems. With its M.2 form factor, the MP600 is simple to install and will help keep your build looking clean. The MP600 utilizes 3D TLC NAND memory, which means you're getting the best balance between performance, reliability, and value. Now, while M.2 drives are hugely popular, the drawback of some drives out there is thermal throttling, which is why the MP600 has its own dedicated heatsink that will keep it cool under heavy load, ensuring consistently fast performance. Whether you're building an entirely new PC around PCIe Gen 4 and you want to take advantage of all that extra bandwidth, or you're just in the market for an incredibly fast storage solution with some future-proofing for your current rig, the MP600 is an excellent choice. The MP600 is available in 500GB, 1TB, and 2TB capacities. For more information, head on over to Corsair.com. That's right, the 8 terabyte Sabrum Rocket 4 Plus is coming. If you've been following us on social media, then you would have seen us tease this thing, but we're here to tell you it's officially coming soon. By the way, if you haven't followed us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, then go ahead and do it. Hi there, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrum we talk about tech and tech related stuff, so go ahead and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated. The story began by us making this, the Sabrum Rocket Q, which was a fantastic and affordable drive. Last year we made an 8 terabyte version of it and it was the only drive of its kind and we were blown away by how many people loved it. We made the drive that not only was fast but provided unparalleled storage amount in an NVMe M.2 form factor and not only that but we managed to make it the most affordable 8 terabyte NVMe drive out there. We've seen some incredible builds with this SSD, from gaming rigs all the way up to full-on studio production builds and multi-raid systems with more of these 8 terabyte drives in one build than I've ever thought imaginable. The amount of people and companies sending us and tagging us in all these amazing rigs has just been inspiring to us and we actually share them throughout the company as it really does make us proud of the stuff that we make. So we got it, many of you love the 8 terabyte Rocket Q, but the one question we kept getting was when are you going to make a faster one? And we were working one, we just couldn't tell you just yet. It wasn't easy, especially with everything obviously going on in the world right now, and the technical challenges that come with obviously pushing the limits of NVMe M.2. We worked extremely hard to make this drive the fastest possible 8 terabyte NVMe drive. We spent such a long time getting the firmware just right to ensure that no matter how you plan, on using this drive, whether it's in your gaming or video editing machine, to a full-on industrial rig, we wanted to make sure that this never skipped a beat. The 8 terabyte Sabrum Rocket 4 Plus SSD is now ready for prime time. So this uses PC Gen 4, allowing for speeds of up to 7,100 megabytes per second. If you need more information on the differences between TLC and QLC NAND, then I'll have a fantastic video linked in the cards above for you guys to watch. We have filled this SSD full of NAND 1TB chips on both sides. And driving these chips is a custom controller and custom firmware paired with fast DRAM memory, meaning that long-term fast and consistent performance. This also means it uses a fourth generation LDPC ECC engine, end-to-end -end data path protection, advanced wear leveling, bad block management, and smart ECC. Also, if you plan on getting this drive, then 
make sure to use our Sabrent heatsink for PC for the best cooling performance for this NVMe SSD in your PC, as we want to make sure that you are keeping this SSD as cool as possible when you're pushing this drive. We've seen how you like to use our drive, so honestly, do it a favor and just get one of these. So some of you may be asking, why did we make an eight terabyte SSD besides our customers telling us to do it? It was less than two years ago, we introduced the first four terabyte PC NVMe drive and some of you questioned it, yet we are now seeing people using the four terabyte drive, not to only run it in their PCs and RAID NAS rigs, but also in the PS5. I would also <laughs> would have looked crazy years ago if I said that we would be running four terabyte SSDs in our gaming consoles, but well, here we are. Games, apps, programs, and video files are growing in size due to the amount of data that they contain. So it's no wonder why the people are requesting more and more storage and the four terabyte drive is becoming the new norm and we generally see the eight terabyte being the next standard and we hope to again drive the market forward with this. Honestly, it was only a few years ago that people were running NVMe SSDs for just their operating system. And we are now seeing people replacing their entire hard drives and two and a half inch SSDs for larger capacity NVMe SSDs for faster speeds and easier form factor, especially with the boom and rise of mini ITX builds over the last few years. This has honestly been months and months of hard work with our engineers and just team working really hard to give you the best possible drive on the market. Now stay subscribed and if you aren't yet then make sure to click that subscribe button and notification bell because we'll be bringing you some performance tests as well as throwing this thing into a PS5 just to see what happens. Give this video a like if you want to see more content like this. When PCIe Gen 4 first roared into gaming in 2019, it set the bar for speed and performance. But if you know anything about Seagate, we don't like to settle. We took a look at PCIe Gen 4 and knew we could push our tech even further. We are talking faster processing, bigger games, better graphics, and new and stronger gameplay. And we are not just unlocking a new level of ultra powerful performance for PCs, it's bringing unprecedented gameplay to consoles at the same time. No more console to PC delays for your favorite titles. No more bottlenecking for development for new game styles or formats. Just unbelievable gaming across the board, right into your home. All this power, all this performance, all this speed needs a dominant SSD. That's why we're proud to introduce you to the Seagate Firecuda 530 SSD. PC builders and gamers demand the highest performance products. And in meeting these growing standards, our team has outdone themselves. Let's start with the NAND technology. PCIe Gen 4 is wielding a lot of raw power and it takes the pinnacle of NAND technology to harness its greatest potential. We've put a top of the line 3D TLC NAND and Fizon's E18 controller inside the Firecuda 530, allowing the CPU, memory, and storage to all put in work simultaneously and faster than ever. I mean, when you talk about speed, this SSD redefines what speed is for gamers. The Firecuda 530 hits speeds of up to 7.3 gigabytes per second. That's two times faster than PCIe Gen 3 SSDs and 12 times faster than SATA SSDs. So when you think of a PCIe Gen 4 SSD, it's really easy to focus on speed. And speed we have in spades. 7.3 gigs per second is a ridiculous amount of speed. It's basically to the theoretical max of PCIe Gen 4. But speed's just not enough. If you're recording and if you're playing a lot of games, you're downloading a lot of content, you're clearing your drive to make space, endurance is critical. And what we mean by endurance is, is how much you can read and write on the drive. That's why we zeroed in our focus on building a high endurance drive and ensured we could hit up to 5,100 total terabytes per day. That means you can write and delete 70% of the drive's capacity every day for five years. So if you've got a 1TB Firecode of 530 installed, you can transfer 700 gigabytes every single day for five years straight. That's a crazy amount of data transfer. We're not using lower grade NAND, which lets you write to it 
fewer times, 0.3 times is typically the industry standard. And we're at 0.7 times, which gives you that 700 gigabyte write per day. So at the end of the day, if you're worried about that, you're investing in this really high performance piece. And the last thing you wanna have on your mind is when is this piece gonna fail me? With the Firecuda 530, you don't have to worry about that because you have the combination of speed as well as the endurance. It's a really unique trait to it. From capturing gameplay and recording live streams to editing video content, our PC rigs aren't just for gaming. We know that gamers and content creators work with a lot of data, and Firecoda 530 Endurance frees you to write and delete content to your heart's desire. Our team built a drive that could stand up to long-term abuse and keep running at max speeds. You're constantly scanning Steam, GOG, or Epic, looking for the newest titles to download. You download and install a bunch of games you can't wait to jump into. With NVMe Speed, those installs happen faster, and in-game load times really do become a thing of the past. With performance like that, endurance like that, speeds like that, we're about to set the gaming world on fire. And while early adoption might look like crisper graphics and faster load times, the future of bigger games, tighter rendering, and faster play is at our fingertips. I kind of nerd out when I when I think about um, PC components, because I am a system builder, and we're not cutting corners. It's a no compromise product. That's the coolest thing about this, is when you look at it, we're using you know, essentially enterprise grade NAND in a consumer gaming product. So it, it stands well above what gamers are gonna expect right now. We are using the latest and greatest components, the latest CPU, the latest graphics. So you also want to use the latest storage because you want to make sure that the storage never becomes your bottleneck. We focus 100% on what gamers want. We define what a console gamer needs, what a PC gamer needs, what's the newest technology coming out with component manufacturers. A lot of effort from our team goes into picking the NAND, picking the controller, qualifying, making sure it gets the best performance possible at launch. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into the development of this product, and it's, it's very exciting to finally be at the cusp of release and be able to get this product that we've spent so much time and effort and love into, into the market and share it with the rest of the world. This piece of hardware is going to outlast your current rig. It's gonna go with you to your next rig and it's gonna be just as fast and you're gonna be able to ride it just as many times and game on it and then move on with you well in the future. That's the cool part about jumping in at this phase of the game. A new bar has been set in the world of gaming SSDs and with Firecuda 530, you'll dominate gameplay well into the future.